How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode. And this will be episode number 64 of this series and before we do get into anything, I've got to thank you guys once again. The support that you're showing on this series is just absolutely fantastic. But in this episode, we're going to be trying to get through another month again, just slogging through the games. And in this episode, we have four games to play, one against Norwich, West Brom, West Ham and also Swansea. And that'll only leave us with two episodes till the end of this season, which is pretty crazy. I can't believe we're already nearly at the end of our first season in the Premier League. But before we do get into any games or anything, we're going to be taking a little look at the squad report. And we're going to take a little look at some of the players that have grown for this month. Strandberg is up to a 74 overall, already up by plus one, even though we've just signed him. Yukonen's also gone up by plus one as well. He's looking very good, growing across the board. A City looks like he's going to be growing at some point. Maybe in the next squad report, he will be a 77. Mark McLeod has also gone up by plus Plus four now, which is pretty crazy. And again, he's another player that's growing across the board. And we're going to be starting this episode off with a home game here. And it is going to be against Norwich City. The only change that I'm making to the team for this game from the last game of last episode is Lockyer is going to be coming in for Dakovic. I mean, looking at the league table currently, Norwich are rock bottom of the table. So I could have easily seen this game and got a win. But I'm going to be playing all the games in this episode. We're trying to catch up with 6th place Chelsea, I believe that was. And we're trying to, you know, maybe qualify for Europe. We're trying to keep that dream alive. Norwich City are now the lowest scoring team in the Premier League. Luckily, we're not even in at the bottom five. So that is a, ma a massive improvement. And I think the last time we played Norwich, they ended up beating us. Jamal Loza, who's on the bench for this game, ended up coming off the bench and scoring the winner. Or maybe we got a draw in that game. I can't really remember if we salvaged the point. But I do remember is that they're playing five at the back. They were in that game. They are in this game. And that is probably going to be a bit of an issue because I really found it hard to break them down. And now we're going to run forward here and wait for the time to pass it off, which is now. And now it's going to be Strandberg cutting inside. Can he find a pass? I think he has done. And it's going to be Aaron Platt who ends up getting the first goal of the game. I mean, this guy is playing as a CDM and he's just chipping in with so many important goals. Strandberg does really well to cut inside. He should have been marked properly, Aaron Platt. But he scored the first goal of the game and it's just way too easy for him. Aaron Platt doing really well. Really good brute strength there. It's going to be Madison inside to Solanke again. Who's going to go for a shot. And he hits the post. How unlucky is that? So close to his first goal. Now it's Aaron Platt. We're going to try and play this one out wide. And it's here to Orsic. who's going to cut inside. And, oh, he's lost it. But he's won it back again. It's going to be Orsic having a shot. Deflected. And there is Strandberg to make it 2-0. Very, very, very lucky with that goal. We won it back very luckily there with Orsic having a shot. It's deflected off of the defender. Made it harder for the goalkeeper to put it into a better position. And instead, he gives it straight to Strandberg. He gets his second goal in two games. Am I mistaken or do I think that Strandberg looks like an 80s porn star? I mean, that moustache is just absolutely awesome. It just works so well on him. We bottled a two-goal lead against Aston Villa. I wouldn't be surprised if we did the same against Norwich here. But we might make it 3-0 here and reduce that doubt of, coming, of them coming back into the game. I'm going to pass this one inside. And again, it's going to be Sutar out here for Strandberg. Trying to get his second goal. Oh my god, this guy is insane. Another goal for Strandberg. And it's a really, really good finish. And again, it's my boy John Sutar getting another assist. He's really done well. I think that's his fifth assist now in seven games. And the finish, oh, it's just exquisite, isn't it? Strandberg going to take the throw in. Still looking for his hat trick. And we're going to play this one inside. And again, this is really good play. And once more up here to Solanke. He's going for a shot. And he makes it 4-0. And this game is just getting a little bit out of hand. 4-0 in this game. This game reminds me of the Southampton game in the last episode. Just completely dom dominating it. But at the same time, the goalkeeper really should have saved that. Like, you, you, shouldn't be allowing, you shouldn't be allowing him to have a shot from there. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, he wasn't even facing goal. And it's going to be another annihilation. This time, we end up beating Norwich 4-0. And similar to the last episode where we beat Southampton, it was sort of a similar circumstance. The goalkeeper didn't really play well whatsoever, but it's the 80s porn star himself. It's going to be Strandberg who got himself a brace in the game. I mean, his first goal was completely luck. I mean, the goalkeeper probably should have done a bit better instead of palming it straight into his feet. 
But for the second goal, that was something special. That really was. But now we are going to be having some more player training. I'm hopeful that Yakonen is going to go up to a 77 from this. And he does end up growing to a 77, as I thought. And that is very good to see. He's already grown by plus two this season. But now we do have the next game of the episode. And this one will be against West Bromwich Albion. Obviously, they're a team that ended up getting promoted with us last season. I'm not really too sure how they're doing in the league currently. But I guess we will find out when we get into the game. I forgot to mention as well, we're going with an unchanged side for this game at the Hawthorns. Currently, West Brom are in the relegation zone. And they could be relegated by the end of the season. I doubt they would have made too many signings as well. But we will just take a little look now. And, yeah, it pretty much looks like the same side from when they were in the championship last season. And he's played it here to Madison, who's going to play it out wide. And it's going to be Strandberg going for a shot. And it's really well saved by Lindegaard at the near post. And this time we'll whip it into the middle from the short corner. Let's see what we can get. It's Madison into the middle. And we almost scored. Oh, my God. Lindegaard saves it just before it crosses the line. Now it's going to be Rondon into Kazri, who's going to go for a shot. What a goal that is. Jesus Christ. He absolutely walloped that shot. I mean, there's just no stopping that, is there? I honestly didn't expect him to have a shot that would be that accurate from there. And I just get completely done by an absolutely brilliant long shot. I'm making them look like Barcelona. It's Gamboa getting the cross in. And Lockyer is just giving it straight to Rondon. And that's going to be a penalty. What are you doing, Vestergaard? Oh, my God. Wabi Kazri with the chance to make it 2-0 for his second goal. And is he going to score? He's off the bar. Clear it away. There we go. And we're still in with a chance in this game. We got very lucky from that penalty. Oh, yes, Madison. There we go. He's won it back in a really good position. Have a shot. And it's gone into the back of the net. We made it 1-1. It's a little bit lucky, I have to admit. I don't know what Gambo is doing there. He's just dilly-dallying on the ball. We win it back with Madison. We have a shot just because there's nothing else on. And I believe that's come off of Lindegaard. It's not really the best attempt to save it. I mean, Madison is a similar player to Orsic. You know, he hasn't really done too much for this team. But he's starting to impress me a little bit more in the second half of this season. We're going to play this one off to Orsic, I believe. He's going to cut inside and we're going to have a shot as well. And it's a really good effort. I mean, this guy, Orsic, just, I, I, I genuinely think he hits the post at least once every game. Oh, this is bad. Rondon is on the attack here. And this is not what I want to be seeing. He's going to try and switch the play. Why did I drag two players out? Kazri has messed that one up there. He really has. That was literally one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he somehow messed it up. And it's going to be Joalzinho. Inside to Kazri. Out wide again to Joalzinho. And into the middle again. And Fletcher ends up putting it into the back of the net. I mean, it's literally just like I said. Oh, yeah, they messed it up. And then I just mess up myself. Don't know what I'm doing trying to go in with Iorfa like that. It's my fault again. It's just poor defending. I don't know what it is. I used to be so much better at defending. Pocognoli has done me really well there. And he's got it into the middle. Not a good clearance. Oh my god. Sears. He's come to the rescue again. Come on. You're stronger than him. Montero's on the ball. Oh, we've just been completely done. That could have been 3-1. That could have been embarrassment right there. And I think we're a little bit lucky they didn't score that one. Now it's going to be inside here. And once more, it's into Aaron Platt, who's going to go for a shot. It's off the bar. How unlucky is that? And again, Aaron Platt was so close to getting another goal. And it's going to be Sutor going for a shot. And that one is just wide as well. I bloody hate West Brom. I'm telling you, this is just absolutely difficult to defend against. They made it 3-1. Oh, my God. How are we losing 3-1 to West Brom? We've had twice as many shots as them. It's just abysmal. Like, how on earth do we go and lose 3-1 against someone that's in the relegation zone? West Brom, they're in 18th. They made... I mean, I made them look like they were in 4th or 3rd. Not 18th. I literally made them look good. And that is really saying something, isn't it? We won 4... How can we win 4-0 and then go on to lose 3-1? I do not know. But you look at the difference. I mean, we just had so many more chances than them. We got very unlucky at the same time. We hit the post a couple of times. And I think we deserve more out of that game. So what we're going to be doing now, we have a game against West Ham coming up in the league. We also are going to have another home game in this episode. But that one will be simmed against Swansea. And for the game against West Ham, I'm only making one change. Once again, it's a defensive change. We're going to bring Dakovic back into the lineup. 
I feel like his presence and his height alongside Vestergaard will prove to be very, very useful in this game. And looking at where West Ham are currently, they're in 11th. They're on 35 points. I think you can start to see that there is a little bit of a gap being opened up between the teams that are ahead of us and the teams that are below us. Now it's up here to Matt Jarvis. He's going to play it inside to Carroll. Andy Carroll's on this right side. Not where you'd expect him to be, but he brought in a brilliant cross into the middle. And that almost was the first goal of the game, had it not been for a good save from Sears. A free kick from 36 yards out. Up steps Orsic, the man to do the job. And it's a really good free kick. No way. What an effort that was. Oh, my God. That would have been awesome had it have gone in. I mean, I think we can officially name Orsic the post-king. Because he's probably hit the post more times than he's actually scored for us. Now we're playing this one out wide. And it's a really good pass. And it's going to be Strandberg cutting inside. And he'll keep on going around the defenders here. Oh, he's just dodged the slide tackle and had a shot. You've got to be like, you've actually got to be joking me. Is this like some sort of sick joke right now? Jesus Christ, look at that. I mean, how close can we get to scoring? All we needed was someone to tap it in. Literally just a touch on it. And that would have been the first goal of the game. Yates won it back inside. Fuck, fuck, shit. Giving away a penalty, you've got to be joking. Dakovic again, that's the second time in two games that we've given away a penalty. And they don't deserve it at all. They literally don't. I'm going to be livid if they score this. It's Payet stepping up for this penalty. Is he going to go right or left? I think he's going to go down the middle maybe. He hits the post again. Oh my god. The FIFA gods are on my side today. I cannot believe that. And he's missed an open goal as well from the rebound. Jesus. Now it's going to be Patterson. Trying to go all the way. And maybe play it off here for... Madison have a shot he was offside anyway god this game is just going crazy all of a sudden first the missed penalty and then that opportunity there only just offside with that run very very close and he's done really well here we're gonna go for a shot no we're not yes we are no we're not we've won it back again with Yorfa who is gonna go for a shot and what an effort wow and in here to Adam Armstrong, who's going to play it through. Yukonen is fallen to Armstrong and a brilliant block there by O'Brien. Damn it, we could have won the game, but no, it's not meant to be. That is probably going to be the most entertaining 0-0 draw you're ever going to see. Chances from both sides, a penalty to West Ham that they miss. And we missed a couple of sitters as well. Like, I, I, I just don't understand how this ended up being 0-0. We deserved the win, in my opinion. We definitely did. We had so many chances. West Ham had one shot on target out of eight. We had seven out of ten. So, you know, that's pretty good for us. But it's not that good that we're not scoring. And now we are going to be finishing off this episode with a simmed game. We're currently sitting in eighth. We're two behind Liverpool. So if we get a win in this game, we could possibly move back up to seventh. I mean, that's just my one wish in this world that we get a win. And we do end up winning. And it's your Conan who I've decided to stick up front for this game, getting two goals in the game. And I'm quite surprised because he doesn't really have the best finishing, but it's good to see that he scored two goals. That should help his confidence. And maybe he can grow from this training session. We certainly have a chance of growing a few players. And before we end off the episode, we see that Sears and Platt are both up to an 80 and 81 respectively. And that will be where we end off this episode and hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed this episode of this career mode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And in the next episode, we're going to be having quite an interesting one. We're going to be sort of trying to finish off the Premier League season, hoping that we can maybe cement our 8th place or 7th place finish. I think that would mean that we just miss out on qualifying for Europe. If it does, that really does suck, but we still got a push. Because you never know, we could maybe snatch a Europa League place. The question of the day today is, do you think it's fair that I'm giving Orsic the post-King title? I mean, he's hit the post so many times. I could literally make a compilation out of the amount of times he's hit the post. Maybe I could do that at the end of the series, you know. Just make an Orsic compilation of all the times that he's hit the post or the bar. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.